Yeah, I feel so good to spill out these truthful stories onto the public eye. Ay, 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 y'all ain't ready for this one. It's a crazy story, man. I pull up a seat and let's begin, shall we? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna take it way back. Yeah, back before we have different races and languages. We all used to speak a one word language. Yeah, then every day switched up. Yeah, which resulted in a man called Nimrod, who was a descendant of Noah, great grandson, I believe it was. Yeah, he went on a mission to commission a tower that we built to skyrocket into the heavens at a desperate attempt to become godlike himself. This tower was called the Tower of Babel. Yeah, the construction started and the people working on the tower were all fine and dandy, working day in, day out. Day by day, nothing was out of the ordinary for the moment. But then God himself saw what was happening took immediate action and scattered the languages and races of everyone. Now we no longer speak the same language or are the same colors. That's why we all live in different continents on planet Earth. Yeah. That was done intentionally so no other human being would make the same mistakes as Nimrod. Yeah. You can't become godlike no matter how hard you really try. Everyone that did all died. Now the Tower of Babel is all defeated slowly but surely running away. The foundation has seen better days. Yeah. Back in those biblical days there used to be one world type of system and now the same exact things happening nowadays. It's just history repeating itself like a record skipping on the same old song over and over again. Only nowadays one world government. Is on the rise. It's not really much of a surprise at this point. Everything's got to shit in these past few months. What will happen once the economy goes under? We are most certainly living in the last days. And it was says in the Bible that towards the end of days, it would be like the days of Noah. And it's not too far off on his prediction. The Euphrates River is basically drying up nowadays. Wait, the least evil has been trapped underneath it. Yeah, one third of mankind will survive the impact. What happens? Yeah, you ready for when that day comes? Yeah, y'all ain't ready for it. This is the last days. So better buckle up. Yeah, it's the Tower of Babel built and commissioned by Nimrod. Yeah, he was on a few top mission to replace God, but ended up shattering the human languages and race. And maybe it was for our own good. Nobody on planet Earth has got it, that's fat. So quit acting like it, yeah. It won't get you far in life, acting like a fool like the tyrant Nimrod, yeah. The Tower of Babel fell and all the remains of it is what it once used to be, yeah. It's Tower of Babel, it's fate was written and documented to the Bible times. The Tower of Babel fell and all the remains of it is what it once used to be, yeah. It's Tower of Babel, it's fate was written and documented to the Bible times. So you should take example and not try to go against God like the tyrant Nimrod, you hear? Baby.